You've probably come across one of these CAPTCHA tests more than once before. Well, what if I told you that by completing the test, not only are you proving that you're not a robot, but you're also training a robot to pass the test. Here's how. I mean, how could you ever get a computer to recognize an image the way a human does? That sounds insane. Well, turns out we can do it with neural networks, which are typically represented like this. Each dot in the network is called a neuron. The leftmost neurons contain information directly collected from the pixels of an image. The rightmost contains the computer's response. How do we get to that response, you may ask? By running the information through the middle neurons, which are nothing more than mathematical functions. Think of it like this. Say we want to know whether these balloons contain alcohol or water. Then we might use this function, where if the balloon lies below the line, it likely contains water, and if it's above it, it likely contains alcohol. Well, we can do the same thing with images. Imagine an image of three pixels with intensities x, y, and z. We could have a function that classifies these images as likely a cat or not a cat based on their distances from this ideal red line. Now, images usually have a lot more pixels, but the problem's the same, namely, how do we figure out the correct functions? We know our functions look like this, a bunch of numbers each multiplying one variable. These are randomly generated at first, but need to be adjusted to give us correct answers. To do that, for our reference image, the computer takes the derivatives of the final output with respect to each of these number entries in each function. Which is the calculus way of saying it analyzes how sensitive the final response is to a change in each of these numbers. That's where your CAPTCHA test comes in. Knowing these sensitivities, the computer uses the images you classified as references and efficiently tweaks the function until its final response matches your classifications. And that's it. That's machine learning. Except instead of actual learning, now you know it's just a little math.